yesterday and forevermore is what you do. You never fail, you never change. You are faithful to the end. Faithful God, I worship you. Yes. Too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to disappoint me. Yes, Lord, in my life, and I come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are careful to disappoint me. You prove yourself in my life. And I come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Too loving to leave me. Yes. Thank you all for joining me. You always finish and I come to realize you're too loving to leave me. Yes, you are loving. Invite someone else as you join. And I come to realize you're too loving to leave me. To realize you're too faithful to fail me. You are too committed to leave me. Too committed to leave us. Oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Too consistent to leave me halfway. Too consistent to leave us halfway. What you start, you always finish. Yes. Yes, my sisters, our God is too faithful. I'm going to play that music again right now to us. I want to play it again because I have something to say about God being very committed and faithful. We have to say something about that to encourage us. Tax somebody as you join. God bless you. Thank you, my lovely sisters. Thank men and women alike. Sister Goma, I go to God bless you, Sister Queen. God bless you as you tag your friends. Both men and women, anybody should be tagged. Enter the name Peter. Pull everybody with P and begin to send these brokers. It's weekend. Let's not complain of the time now. Let's have fun today. Tag men and women. Too fast to fail. That 
back people like I'm sending my tag, I'm sending mine too. Keep on sharing. It's weekend. There's no need of being in a hurry. Hallelujah. In my life, and I come to realize you're too faithful to fail. Yes. Faithful God. Yes, today, today. What you say is what to do. President NK, you're welcome. You never fail, you never change. Oh, yes, it's to go to the song is beautiful. I worship you. Yes, you're too faithful to disappoint me. Oh, yes, my sisters, you all are doing an awesome job. Keep on tagging somebody. It's Saturday, almost Friday night is gone. So let's have fun. It's weekend. Thank you all for tagging people. Too faithful. I got this faithful. Yes, it's too faithful. You're too faithful to disappoint me. Yes, you've proven yourself in my life. And I come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Yes, you can share, Sister Victoria. You can go ahead and share. God bless you all. That is what I'm talking about. People are joining us as we share. God bless the hands that we share. God bless you all. President Enke, thank you for sharing. God bless you, sis. Amen. Sister Quinnett, God bless you, Sister Millicent. Sister Victoria, share it. Touch somebody. Too loving. Too loving. He's too loving to leave us halfway. He's always finished. And I come to realize you're too loving to leave me. Woo. It's weekend. Whatsoever is your worries, drop it. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In my life, and I come to realize you're too faithful to fail. You are too committed. Too committed. Yes, too committed. Too committed. Yes, consistent. Mm. What you start, you always finish. Mm. Lord, I've come to realize that you are too faithful to fail me. What you start, you yes, Lord. Finish. God bless you all as you are sharing. God bless us. You are too faithful to fail. To me. Hallelujah, that was awesome. It's Friday. We can't complain because except some of us here in the state like President NK, she works during the week. That is why we don't see her participating a lot in the group. President NK, your sisters, they don't know you that much. We had a workshop today for Dara giveaway. They didn't know they have two presidents. I pray that the Lord will give you a little bit of space with your job so you can always 
participate in the chapters, you know, say something, and they can get to get familiar to know their president in Dallas, Texas. The Lord will continue to bless us in Jesus' name. We we'll thank God. We we'll thank God. This is a day that the Lord has made. We want to definitely rejoice and be glad in it. As we are tagging and sharing people and just waiting for people to come on board so I can inspire us for a few minutes. I've been on broadcast already till almost 3 o'clock after the Zoom. So let's just give somebody the food of the weekend to tell you that you are the best of the best. In Jesus' name. Please continue to talk somebody. Hallelujah. Mm. Let this song minister to your soul. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Continue to share. God bless you. Let's not stop. As you come and begin to share, begin to invite somebody. Type any name. 
men and women, you type Michael, people with Michael will come up, you start tagging them. Woo! strategies. God is good. Welcome on board, my lovely, gorgeous sisters, men and women. Thank you all for joining me on this broadcast right now. You are highly welcome. You are blessed. You are specially made. To be here right now is a privilege. It is a blessing for us to be here, to be on social media. We are finally in the land of the living today, we should be able to say he's an incredible God. Unchangeable God is his holy name. Ancient of the days. I am that I am, Jehovah Yahweh is his holy name. I just love this God. He is wonderful. He is awesome. He is marvelous. He's unchangeable God. I am so glad that we had the privilege to be alive today in the land of the living. It could have been worse, but the grace of our master Jesus is sufficient for us. So blessed be the name of our Father in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus. Today is wonderful. Yes, Stella, I don't know where you're coming from. God bless you, my beautiful sis. I think that name is brand new to me. Stella Ife Phillips, God bless you for joining us. Please, as you join, do us a big favor. Tag somebody. In the comments button, instead of commenting for now, tag a guy's name. You can type Matthew. People that are Matthew will start pumping up. You keep on tagging people on Matthew. And we don't want to know who they are, but we want to go viral. You type Mike. The names for Mike will come out. You begin to tag them. You tag John. Johnson, their names will come out. Just tag anybody you can tag. Do that favor for Sisters True Love Group International. We are here not just to talk too much today. We are here to thank God for the workshop that we just finished. We have been announcing it for almost two weeks or three now. That we are going to have a data-free day. On our platform at Sisters True Love Group International. To empower somebody a little bit. It's not a big deal. I mean, people can buy their data, you know. But every little thing that we can do during this pandemic will create fun around us. It's not all about the money, but it's the fun of it. You know, some people are so uptight and going through a lot. But this data day, these little things that we do, the prayer that we do on Friday and Saturday, 
our Facebook broadcast is just to release some tension, some stress, and some pain. And for you to know you're not the only one going through anything. Everybody have one thing or the other that is spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally being a stressor to them. But we want to create avenues to, you know, overcome these stressors, you know, to take absolutely charge concerning some of these stressors of life. So we created a platform today on Zoom. It's been posted on Facebook. I don't know if people think it was a joke. And many of you that are in Sisters Ruler Group, we don't just talk because we want to talk. We try to make sure we watch ourselves to say what we can stand for and defend what we're saying. So when we say we want to do this, heaven always make a way where there seems to be no way. We did our data free day today. And this thing might come up like once every month or once every two months or so. However, the Lord want to do it to touch somebody, to make them laugh. We did it today. It was very funny. I mean, I do laugh, but today was just over laughing. Everybody was just having fun. Everybody was just acting like a little child. Imagine if all of us are in the same hall trying to do some fun games. It's going to be wonderful. That is how we want to live our lives. We created that fun today. People logged into Zoom. We answered questions. Some people didn't know the questions. Others were laughing. You know, they would mention wrong things. The other ones would bust out and laugh. It was just therapeutic. That's what I would say. Let me use that word. It was reviving of health issues. You know, I, I don't think anybody that drinks blood pressure medication should drink one if you were on that workshop today. You should be able to tell yourself, you know what, my blood pressure better start being okay because I am not ready to be killing myself with medications. We can start working on our health based on the forms that we create around. Thank you all for joining me, Sister Daphita. Thank you. Oh, bro, Gideon, you're welcome. It was more than fun today. We did free data day on Zoom today. The Zoom link was posted on Facebook. Some people think it was a joke, you know. They don't know this is number one female platform globally. We don't joke like that. We are filled with action. Sisters Soul Law Group International. We only say things that we know we can back up. We don't just say for saying sake. So it was really fun. I don't know if one of my sisters that were there today will want to come live to say something so that the world can know we actually did our free data day. And people want data for real. Some people want $2,000, 2000 Naira in data. You can imagine some data, you know, it's like 100 Naira, 200 Naira, but somebody winning 2000 Naira for data refill. That's a serious thing. Some people want 4,000 Naira for data. Some people want 6,000 Naira for data. You know, it was just too much fun. We all had massive fun today. You know, it was just like, wow. It's an excellent way of creating peace among sisters, among men. And we expected more men to join, you know, so you can answer questions. It was fun. We never knew it was going to be this fun, but everybody was like, oh my God, I laughed today. Eh? Some people don't even know who is their ESCO in their chapters. And if they know, they don't know when they were then ESCO. It was just too much fun, you know. And, and we thank God for the successful event today. That was a stepping stone to tell men and women alike globally that we are not just Sisters Through Love Group International only. We want to be global sisters to everyone who is available. Little things like that matters a whole lot. Yes, Sister Queen, Ashwan speaks louder than words in Sisters Through Love Group. Absolutely correct. Please keep on sharing. And if you're my sister, you want the workshop, I will want you to come live and talk about the form part of it so that someone else will know. I wasn't supposed to be here now, but I just want to let the world globally know that we get free data today. And some people would have won at least 3,000 Naira, 4,000 Naira, you know, or your own country like Kenyans or Europe, something. It's globally open today. So some people missed us. Some came in late when we were rounding up, you know. Some had some money to go home. It was fun. So Sister Quinnett, I don't know if you can come live or any of my sisters, Chidima, somebody that was there to testify. But if not, why we're still waiting? Keep on sharing, invite your friends. 
This is what I'm saying. This period has been a very big challenge for human beings. It's so precious. God bless you. If you want to come live, come live. Send me a request. This pandemic period, since January, I left Nigeria January 30th, landed in USA 31st of this year when I went home to see some of my friends and my family. Ever since, I was supposed to travel again two months or three after that. But pandemic hit, no movement. This is September, and all of us are just stressed out. We don't know what to do, you know. It's just crazy. Children are at home, busy, doing nothing. Both teenagers and little ones, husbands that don't like to see their wives, they are seeing them face to face every morning, afternoon, evening. And it was a bad thing that happened to human life. But at the same time, the Lord also used this pandemic period to tell us that we really, 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 really need each other. And this is why Sister Sula Group is saying, if you don't understand the depth and the seriousness of this pandemic in human form, you're thinking about it like it's you, all about you, then something is spiritually wrong and physically disabled in individuals who don't know that this particular pandemic period i think what i understood is that the lord was using it to bring us closer to each other especially quote quote we that claim to be christians you know christians with a practical example of christianity so the lord used this opportunity of pandemic to draw us closer for us to know that when you are eating can you ask your neighbor if they have one meal a day? You eat three, four, five meals in a day, even take snacks in between. Can you turn around and deny yourself one meal to give somebody on the street? This was the purpose of this pandemic to me. That is my personal opinion. And I thank God that Globally Sisters Through Love Group International were able to touch lives all through this pandemic period. Not just to the less privileged out there, not just to the sick people out there, not just to people out there. We touch lives in our own sisters during this pandemic. We were able to touch somebody's life. We were able to appreciate somebody. We were able to share the little that we have with someone out there. That is what I understood when it comes to this period. Almost seven months of staying in the I came back January 31st. I've been at home February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. As a matter of fact, eight good months. We are stuck here. No serious movement. Sister Eileen, you're welcome. No serious damn movement globally. We all are stuck. And for a few of those that have started working, they just started working right now, meaning everybody, both Dick and Harry, rich and poor, little and big, every human being have tested what it caused hardship at this time. The only thing that will make us go through it and keep on going through it is out of love and sharing among us. If we don't share among us, we don't love each other. There is fire on the mountain. This is the purpose of this time for me. It's for me to realize it's not all about me. It's about somebody who is under the bridge with no place to put their head. If the winter starts by next month, because in the United States, by October, winter will start. And that winter is not like Amatan back home. This one is complete ice freezing winter. Some people don't have a place to lay their head. The only help we can give them is to buy them comforters to cover them in the middle of this winter coming. You can imagine that. This particular time is the time of love, unity, and care among us Christians. Even the Muslims are like, because in Sisters Through Love Group, we have a lot of Muslims. That is why the group is so wonderful, so unique. We don't discriminate which race, which church, which place are you coming from. It's all about Jesus and living the life of Christ. If they see us as Christians, Sisters of Love Group International, and they chose to belong to the group, knowing what we are made for, 
knowing what will carry along with us, touching the last of the less privileged, why would a Muslim not be in the Sisters True Love Group International? This is a place of love for women, and we inspire each other. We mentor each other. We encourage each other. We uplift each other at the same time, touching the lives of the less privileged globally. That is the purpose of this gathering. Our data day today, I am super excited because we gave some free data to people, and it was fun. That is a little bit of help, tiny bit of help. Not just the help, but the main purpose of that gathering today was for us to have fun. It's not all about the data we gave for free. It's not all about the money that people will receive. I mean, nobody will buy data for 2,000 Naira immediately. I was in Nigeria in January. But guess what? My own purpose of organizing Zoom free data day to day is to put smile on people's face, to laugh. Because that is what we achieved. It's not the money issue. But the sisters, the people were laughing. Everybody was laughing and cracking out. Some people don't even have a clue what would belong as. You know, they said their answers. The other people will burst and start laughing. It was so much therapeutic. It was so relieving to some people's chest that they can laugh, you know, instead of being moody. That was the reason why we did that, that, that day today. And I thank God because it was a very successful one. Testimonies are happening. Yes, indeed, people really receive the money for their data today when they answer questions. We did not fake it. We didn't filter it. We are not lying. We are not saying it to pick on anybody. We are saying it because everybody needs help at this time. Like I said last week on my broadcast, if you are in this pandemic period, you never touched any life. Either you call somebody to encourage them or pray with somebody or send a little gift. It doesn't matter how small or share food with someone. You are very wicked now. You are so wicked to me. Mm -hmm. You are so wicked if you did not do anything to human being at this particular time. Sister Gochi, you said your daughter has disappointed you, your daughter. Please try to hold that data. I wish you want money today, but unfortunately, since you did not win nothing, so try to hold the data out to be here. So, I want us to know that this weekend, if you don't catch nothing this weekend, know that you are not the only one going through stuff. Escochinella, God bless you. She says, Sister Sula Group International is the place to be. Not just that, sis. The evidence-based number one global platform, female global platform, is a place to be indeed. Let us begin to share. Let's continue to share. This is a place to be. None of our sisters should remain idle. As I'm even speaking, we are going to do a big time giveaway gift in December, both for men and women that are following us. There will be an evidence-based gift coming for Christmas by the grace of God. We believe that the Lord is going to keep us alive in good health. So work hard, stay focused, let's bring the work of our hands before God to bless it. December will have a giveaway for men and women. It will also be on Zoom. We are going to do a serious one that will be mind-blowing. When you win, one person will be asked at least 10 questions. You have five minutes to answer all. You're going to win big. We're also going to try and draw loan applications. I mean, if I say loan, we don't take back loans because God has warned us that we should not be taking money back if we give people loan. So each time we give loan, we don't take back. So by the grace of God, December, we're also going to give loan to at least 10 sisters. We don't know which chapter is going to come from. And we don't need anybody to apply. We just need all the names of everybody in the chapter. All the sisters in the chapter. You're a minonia, you're not a minonia, it doesn't matter. All the names of people who want to enter the drawing. And that drawing, we're going to make it very fun. You're going to use 5,000 Naira to register for the drawing and put your name in it. 
We don't know how much and what God wants us to give to people free of charge for Christmas. So the day we will do it, we will come on Zoom like usual. Or I will come on Facebook, everybody log in, your family members, friends, and well wishers. We will put all the names in a paper, wrap them very good, put it in a basket, shake it very well. The president or the admins will pick up the names. We will pick 10 people's names. It doesn't matter who it is. Men or women, it doesn't matter. We'll pick those 10 people's names as long as you pay your 5,000 naira to enter the drawing. If your name is picked out of the 10 people, I don't know what it's going to be. You could have money to start a business. That is how God wants to do it. But we need to buy the raffle, which is 5,000 5, naira. You know, I don't talk and forget. Let me write that now. Christmas, December giveaway. Raffles, 5,000 Naira per individual on Zoom. We're going to do it by December 24th, before the 25th, 2020, by the grace of God. Hallelujah. By the grace of God. That will be December 2020, by the grace of God. We're going to give gifts. This is not raffle. You're not buying the gift. We're going to give gifts to our sisters based on how committed, how committed and how creative you are in your chapters. So you see, I've written it and I'm going to sign it when admin comes to work on Monday. She will type it out and will sign it and put it in the file. Those are the things that the Lord wants us to do in this group. I don't see anybody tagging more people. Please tag more people. We have like 30 minutes to round up so that people will hear the blessing of God. This is what we need to advertise. And not only that, let me just say another thing. Social media handlers. Our social media handles too. There will be a gift for that for any of us, men and women, that is going to YouTube to subscribe. Because we will see your name if you subscribe and your comment. Yes, Sister Queenet says she must win in Jesus' name. Sister Queenet, I think you won prize today during the workshop for free data. I think, right? I think you won prize. Yes, you did. You know, you won. That's a good one. So if you go to our social media handles like YouTube, Sister True Love Group YouTube. That's the name, Sister True Love Group. You go there, you subscribe, and you comment. All those videos, we, know, we need viewers, and you share. Subscribe, comment, share. We are recording it. The Christmas, by the grace of God, as God is blessing us, he said he has opened the doors of heaven for our group already, globally. That men and women from the east, from the west, from the north and the south, they will begin to bless us. That is how we are going to be blessed. As we are walking on the street, feeding the less privileged, the homeless and all that, doing what we are supposed to do. We also will be mind-blowing. December is coming. And remember, we are still doing workshops every Wednesday. We might do workshop and ask questions, somebody will take money to go. We will have an example with somebody in Abuja, the ESCO and the ESCO in Portaco. They've been winning back to back. That is commitment. So every one of us we can win. We'll throw questions randomly anyhow. But this one of social media handles, we need to see us going to our YouTube, especially because we have videos to be shared, subscribed, and viewed. You have to go in. Nobody will do it for us except us doing it for ourselves. And you're doing it, you get some bonus you know for doing what you're supposed to do all you need to do is go in subscribe we will see that you subscribe we will see that you're viewing those videos it's over 80 videos on youtube so go in and view them when you see any post on facebook concerning us share it you know comment don't just like how can a sister be liking what belongs to her love the thing by typing something by encouraging somebody and keep on sharing as I'm on Facebook now, you keep hitting and sharing people. We want to make it viral. 
Remember our brother and sister's marketplace is under construction. As a matter of fact, our brother Gideon is here, who is the one handling the Facebook page for the business. And the website is under construction. Hopefully, by the end of next month, no, not next month, next week, according to the guy, we can go into our sister's brother's marketplace online and you will see people because I already have a lot of applications piled up. We're waiting for the data to be set up right. We'll start shooting their information. People are ready to shop and do what they're supposed to do online. For those of you that are doing some bakery stuff, you know, go and advertise for free now for sisters. After the 50 people is being admitted, every person will have to pay that 100,000 naira or 200 dollars to be on that platform because every year you have to renew your contract. It's a very big place, men and women will network. Don't let yourself miss out. Sister Linda, you're welcome to what God is doing in Sister Sula Group. Yes, Esco Precious, I'm telling them there's too many ways for us to be happy in Sister Sula Group. Many of you can testify. Yes, Esco Radiant say if you're not in Sister Sula Group, or men, your wives are not here, or your sisters are not in this group, they are missing out. It's so much fun. Too many good things are happening. Prayer, we are praying and breakthroughs are happening. You know, God is touching our lives. We are learning, we are in the process of forgiving everyone that have offended us. And testimonies are coming. We encourage everybody to forgive whoever that have wronged you. Have the life of forgiveness so that you will get what the Lord has planned for us in the mighty name of Jesus. In everything, remember a lot of people have died. Even as we are talking, we are not better than those people. It's all about grace. So if this grace has been given to you and I, let us maximize this grace to the glorification of the name of Almighty God. Use this grace very well. Use this grace to touch lives. Last week we talked about humanitarian, the meaning of humanitarian job, the core values of humanitarian. The Bible even said, now enter into the kingdom of my father because of humanitarian job. When we are preaching in the church, we are winning souls. God loved that. We will go to heaven for that. But the Lord is saying, when you clothe me, you feed me, you go to prison and see me when I'm sick, you're there. Now enter into the home of my father. That is the word of God. So we are the heartbeat of Christ. Yes. Sister Chinelo said, we are ready to stun our online mall with good stuff. Sister Chinelo, I can't even wait to honestly place a first order on your online market. That is my position to do. You know, that is my position. I can't wait to go in with my card and order from your online and you confirm that indeed you are online. I can't wait for all my sisters that have markets that they can do online. I can't wait. Even if I'm far away, I might not need it. I will go into order so that we can shoot this business going. That is how China people do it. They are online. We are ordering from China. DHL is delivering. This one, Amazon is delivering. This and that, eBay. That is what Sister Solo Group is doing. We have our own eBay, Amazon right now, which I'm telling you, you see how big Amazon is and how eBay is? Sister Sula Group International, that is how mighty that we are going. Somebody started that vision to sell on eBay. Somebody started that vision for Amazon. Somebody started that, uh, what do they call it? Alibaba, where we buy our African clothes. Somebody had the initiative which God has given to Sister Sula Group International. Let us appreciate our own. Yes, Sister Victoria, be inspired. Let us appreciate our own. As you are doing that, make sure you do a business card to carry along with you. With that website, that Sisters Brothers Marketplace online. Globally, it's not just for Nigerians or Americans. It's a global online business center. It's going to be mind-blowing. Right now, the, the mall is going to contain 1,850 people store. Just basic. To get started, 1,850 individual stores. And our goal is to get at least up to 2 million, but we just started with that 1,000 plus to get it out there. 
You can imagine how global that will go. I already have people who sell cars in Nigeria that are sending me information. I have one or two people from Italy or something that sell shoes and handbags. Their information is awaiting the website to get ready. We'll start shooting. So you can order anywhere and they will deliver to you through their site. It's a blessing. There is no other female group like Sisters Through Love Group International. We take it or we drop it. The truth be told. We are just simply the best of the best. And honestly, if you're not in the best of the best, I don't know where else you can be. A practical place where women say, we want to have a workshop today. And we'll have workshop to teach each other. You know, the funniest part is I'm seeing men, our husbands, joining our prayer minute, you know, like Friday morning and Saturday morning. Men are joining us. Every sister that prays on those days, you are a living witness. Men are physically, even on Facebook, people join the prayer line. And I will see their names. I'm like, is this for it? This, this is the man who joining us. You don't know who is watching. Men are joining. Husbands are calling us to inspire us that what we are doing among women is incredible. They can never believe it's happening. We are known as fighters. Women, they gossip, they fight, they, they are jealous, they compete. But Sisters Through Love Group is molded in a very unique, specially made set of women coming from different human nature and culture coming together under the same umbrella, respecting the core value of an international group, working together, bringing ideas together, and moving mountains. Oh, my God. I just love you, all sisters, and I love our men joining us all the time. Oh, my God. What a group that will join ourselves in. May the Lord continue to bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Men, you are welcome. Today, that was for men and women. It was globally open day for free data. And unfortunately, those who were still in doubt, they will have to live with example of what is happening. Because indeed, we gave free data to people. And they are living testimonies. So next time you will hear that, if you want to sit down and keep on being Thomas doubting, you keep doubting. But heaven help those who help themselves. If you did not log in, you wouldn't have known that you would get a question right. So that is what we want to do. May the Lord give us the strength in Jesus' name. I want to talk about some women that are weak and men that are weak physically. Many of us are using this period to give an excuse why we don't have nothing to do for ourselves and what we have to do. I know that everybody has a dream in life, what you really want it to be. I want to encourage you, don't let that dream die. Even if it's to sew clothes, do not let your dream die. If you don't speak up, nobody will know what your dream is. If I was holding on to my vision, the dream God gave me when I was seven years, and I did not voice it out to my mom and my sisters, these days, if I'm doing this thing, they will be like, whatever. She's lying. She didn't have no vision. But because I was able to speak it out as little as seven years old, telling them that I'm going to America, I'm going to be a, a millionaire. As a matter of fact, I want to be a trillionaire. My, my vision is to use that money to go all over the world and be helping everybody that need help. They were looking at me like, this little girl, shut up. My brother in London would say, Reke, please. Can we have something? You haven't even crossed the portacot that they delivered you. You're thinking about America. I tell them, I say, I'm not going to be at home. I don't know how to do farming anyway. It's not going to fit me, but I'm going somewhere. I'm going to go to America. Not even London, not even any other place. But America gone gone because I have to be a trillionaire. I was talking about it like a little girl. I know I'm not a trillionaire yet, but yet, if God can bring me this far, he's able to do it. You see, I have something now to hold on with my dream. Yes, God bless you as you continue to share. I have something to hold on and ask God, remember the promise you made to me. Because I did not get afraid. I voiced it out. Whatsoever that the Lord has placed in your mind to do, 
away from what you're doing now. Don't be afraid. Speak it out. Because you never know who you're talking to might be your help to achieve your dream. Don't be scared of following your heart desires. I know fear is always there. It's a basic stuff with life. No man succeed or woman succeed in life without telling you they were afraid to try the first time. It's part of life growth. Fear is not a bad thing, but when you let it overtake your vision and mission, it becomes a bad, a bad tool to you. I had fear like, where do I start? Like I said before, I started and I stopped. I closed some chapters, I start again. But right now, how in the world are we supposed to close almost 30 chapters globally? It's not possible. So the bridge of fear is gone. I have no other fear anymore. Even if there's a chapter that is not doing very well, God will make it to grow. We we'll have living testimonies. Or where it was not functioning very well, but the Lord brought one sister right there through our West admin. Boom! Or where they started growing right now, all of a sudden. Abia said it was not functioning very well. All of a sudden, boom, somebody came for Abia State. It started functioning. We are also believing God for people like Anambra. You know, every chapter, God is doing something special. Because I believed in God. And even with the fear of how am I going to do it, I still stood strong. Knowing that if this fear deranged me, my vision would be dead. What is your vision? As you are watching me today, your vision is not the kind of job you're doing now unless you had that vision that that is the kind of job you want to do. Your vision is something that is bigger than you. That is what is called vision. If your vision is not mind-blowing how you're going to achieve it, then it's just your feeling. It's not your vision. Vision is something you can never tell how you will get to that destiny where you want to get. But you know so well that that is where you belong. That is what vision is all about. Yes, Sister Esco Pressure said, this is the appointed time. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, my beloved brothers and sisters, this is the appointed time for your vision and your mission to be born and born for real and stay. Any vision that is so easy to attain is not a vision. That is your personal trying to do something better. But when a vision is born, a vision comes with challenges. A vision comes with big fear. A vision comes with trials and tribulations. And that vision, you will be thinking about it inside of you as a human. You will never believe you can achieve it. But when you stick with it and say, I think this is what I am called to do in life. At the end of the tunnel, you will see your vision born. And stabilize. I am a living testimony. So as you go this weekend, you want to ask yourself a very thorough question. What really am I supposed to be living for? Mr. David, you're welcome. Thank you, men and women, for joining us. What is my purpose in life? Because many of us have decided to run the race for someone else. You know, when you see a vision of somebody else and you want to bypass the mission of that vision, Lambo Shetere Makia, Lord, I'm speaking to somebody right now. Thank you, Jesus. When you see someone's vision, like my vision, to inspire women, to inspire women, to encourage and mentor them, at the same time, touch the life of human beings globally, both men and women. That is my vision. If you leave the mission of my vision and want to carry my vision with me, you are not called. You cannot carry my vision with me. It's a personal issue. This is where most people make mistakes. And we want to make sure we correct that. We want to make sure we correct that mistake. Many of us who are being delayed where we are because we are following somebody's vision with v v i s i o n vision somebody's vision vision is more like your vision to see you are the one seeing what you are seeing like they say beauty is in the hand or the eyes of the beholder that is my vision what i see 
you cannot see because we are molded in different ways. So when you leave yourself to jump into somebody's vision, you will definitely fail because that is not your purpose in life. You're trying to be like somebody else. You're forcing yourself to resemble somebody that you're not meant to be. But when you see a friend or a well-wisher or a family member, or you see me as CEO of Sisters Through Law Group International, with a vision that is so clear to me and I'm seeing it spiritually, physically, I am seeing my vision with God. And I release the mission, which is the means for me to... When I release that mission, that is why I have global chapters all over. Because my sisters bought into my mission to accomplish my vision. Glory, hallelujah. Sister Maureen, God bless you. Yes, that is the only place you see joy radiating all over the chapters. Because we are so excited carrying a little girl's vision along with her through the mission to accomplish that vision. You see what I mean? The, 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 the depth of understanding most times will either break somebody or mold somebody. And they saw doing, helping me to carry the vision to push my mission, to carry my mission to push my vision up. Many of you will begin to discover your own vision. This is why some people will say, oh, I used to think working for people is all I can do. But right now, I want to start selling my mind on the side, even after work. I cook more mine early in the morning. I will put it in somebody to, to come and buy it in wholesale and put it in their stores. I will be making extra money. You start feeling happy because you can cook my mind for real. You start designing it your own way. The Lord begins to give you extraordinarily understanding to make your mind mind different from what every person is making. In the my vision, you enter my, vis my mission to help me with my vision. You begin to see your own vision open. Because we are supposed to inspire each other. Through my inspiration to my lovely sisters and men and women globally, guess what? Most of us are beginning to discover who we are. Like, okay, I can make a cartoon, like our assistant admin. She started being creative. She's not under my vision, choking me on my vision. But she's working with my mission. In my mission, she began to discover her own vision. Jesus. Release spiritual gift to your daughters all over the global. And men alike that want to follow somebody's mission for their vision to be born. Father, begin to release that gift right now from the east, west, north, and south. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, every confusion in our visions, mighty one in battle. Father, let there be a clear vision for your daughters and your sons. Globally, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, through somebody's mission to accomplish her vision, your own mission and vision will be open. The Lord will begin to open your eyes. I'm talking about somebody who knows how to make cake and meat pie. Because you have been doing it for friends and well wishers, but because you're connected to Sisters Ruler Group International, as you run the mission with me to accomplish my vision, the Lord begin to tell you, you know what, I can do this cake globally. I can actually tell every sister in this group that they must order this cake from me. Let me talk to my CEO to encourage my sister to start ordering from me. From the sisters ordering from you, your sisters are beginning to tell their family members. From there, they are telling their churches and friends and well wishers. Somebody's vision is born through the mission of somebody's vision. Glory, hallelujah. That is the way to succeed, not to compete among each other. That is a primary goal for us to inspire one another. But if we are fighting to be like the CEO in her vision, many visions individually will be aborted. That is not the purpose of Sisters Through Love Group International. The purpose of this group is to inspire us to begin to see our visions through the mission of Sisters Through Love Group International. In that doing, we will begin to spread all over the world. We will begin to touch lives all over the world. According to the Bible, we will begin to stretch our tents and know that if not only touching the lives of the less privileged, I can do this thing and make money and also donate into that vision to touch the life of the less privileged through the mission that we are doing. Open doors will begin to break loose. 
in this vision of Sisters Rule of Group International. Because the Lord said it's for us to inspire women, to mentor them, to empower them. That is why every day God is telling me something to do. The prayer group has been wonderful. We just formed that prayer chapter. We've been praying all together. But the Lord began to say, open a chapter for prayer warriors only, whereby it's selected sisters. I think we are only two, 20 people in the prayer warriors. The Lord wants to spiritually use us to begin to minister spiritually for the needs of our sisters globally and the needs of our men. That was part of my vision. The Lord said, do that. And in that mission now, some of our sisters are beginning to lead prayer. Those of them that have been quiet, the spirit begins to push them. They begin to spiritually come out and say, I can pray. I can read the word of God. Yes, I can carry the, the prayer on today. That is God using our mission in Sisters to Love Group to accomplish some people's vision. Sister Goma of Enugu too recorded something that was mind-blowing to me. That music, I was just laughing. I don't know why she is not able to do another one. I try so much to post it on Facebook for people to hear. She has become our radio station for Sisters Rule of Group International. That is inspiration is there. Probably she's been singing, but she never took it serious. But guess what? She was able to create something out of an ordinary, and it was very unique. That is the mission of Sisters Rule of Group, burning a vision for somebody else. Glory, hallelujah. I'm talking about women who are shy. They don't know when to say no when people offend them. They pretend that all is well, but they are dying in silence. We want our sisters to break loose. Anything that doesn't make you happy, men are like, anything that you have to compromise your joy to please somebody else, that stuff will still end up being disaster at the end of it. But it's always good for you to stand for what is going to make you happy. So that everybody will know this is what is making you happy. And we will respect that. That is mentioning a woman and a man, inspiring you to come out of your comfort zone. Be uncomfortable by uncomfortably, uncomfortably affecting other lives. When you say yes, yes, yes to people, because you want them to like you, one day you're going to be forced to say no. Guess what? Everybody will hate you. We don't want to leave that kind of pretense in Sister Sula Group, both men and women. As you join us, you will learn something that we are go-getters. We are simply the best and nothing but the best. I cannot settle for nothing except being the best in all that I do. So help us God. My sisters can tell you all, when they misbehave, I'm always easy to say, you did wrong and this is the consequences. I still love you sis, but hey, you need to follow the rules now. I'm not going to pretend. So one day now when I will tell you what you did is wrong, I become your enemy. No, you need to choose if I'm your worst enemy from the beginning. Because we are not here to compromise or filter or pretend or shelve the group so that it will fit you. We are here to stand for the truth and nothing but the truth. We reprimand each other out of love. That is the same way God allows something strong that we cannot handle sometimes except if we call on him to happen to us. It's not because he hates us so much. That's why he allowed things to happen to us. No, that's a lie. God reprimands us because he cares so much about us. He doesn't want us to waste. That is the same thing we should do to somebody we love. That is the same thing you should do to your husband. Don't let your husband think that it's okay to beat on you when you know you're not comfortable with that, but you don't want to lose that marriage. Devil is a liar from the pit of hell. We will not settle for less. It's part of inspiring each other. Somebody quote that Jesse said, no man has the right to beat on any of us. That will be a topic of his own. This month is all about teaching. So we don't know what we'll be teaching every day. But we want to empower and inspire both men and women. Some women also beat on their husbands. Their husbands are so loving and very, you know, low spirited to make sure peace reign. Some women can stand on top of their husband and talk to them and speed on them. That kind of character we cannot welcome in Sisters Rule of Group. You must learn to respect your husbands. And also respect people around you and your children. Likewise, we're not saying you should be stupid. 
But you should know when to draw the line. When you're talking, talking, talking over your husband, you should be able to say, oh, I'm not supposed to talk like this to my husband. Honey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so rude. I was a little bit angry. Please forgive me. It will never take nothing out of you. We must build a platform of uniqueness so that when we stand to do our conventions, our husbands will take the microphone and testify for us and say, honestly, since my wife joined this group, she has become the best wife. Father-in-laws, mother-in-laws, we must not follow them the way they follow us. We must love them in return. But all I tell my sisters, do not allow yourself to be a punching bag for any man. Period. Yes, Eskom Amaka, it's time to take this message globally and everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are, you need to take the message out there. The only thing I cannot stand any man doing to any of my sisters, unless they did not tell me. Because if any of my sisters comes telling me that, CEO, my husband used to beat me and still beating me, oh, hey, to the no. To be honest with you all now, uh-uh. We are not going to take excuses for that. Brother is going to be arrested because there is no excuse for a man to beat on her wife. If you can beat on your wife, can you beat your mother too? Because if you cannot beat your own biological mother, then beating your wife is a taboo to sisters through love group. We must not allow any man to abuse us in that format. We must not give room for that. All we need to do, do our best as the best of the best and allow God to heal our marriages. If there's anything like that, it's a point of prayer. Let us begin to kill that spirit in their brother like that. Because some of them, they beat their wife because of frustration. Some of them beat their wife because of the way we talk to them. Many attributes, but I tell you, there is no qualifying excuse for a man to beat on a woman. That is one thing I've learned from my father and my two brothers, and with my own common sense now, you know, because your father will not be with you in your marriage. Some of you will pretend and be going through that. You don't want to tell nobody. You have sisters globally. Tell somebody about that particular one. I tell myself, any man that ever will be around me, my ex never tried that to beat me. Thank God for his life. Any man that raises his hand on me, I don't care how much I was running my diarrhea marks. You can hit the door and take the key and leave the house for the main time. Whatsoever that you can do to calm you down. Brother, brother, do something. Calm your spirit down now. Don't come and beat me. Because uh-uh, 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 bam, 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 bam. Uh-uh. I don't agree for that one. No man has the right to beat you as a woman. There is no justification, no kind of excuse to qualify that a man will be beaten on the wife. It is not acceptable, both in heaven and on earth. I know too, if we go to the Old Testament, you will see that some men were mistreating their wives. But right now, we're in the New Testament of Matthew, Mark, James, and John, and Isaiah them. No man should be using you as a punching bag. Brothers now, brothers, brothers, if you're watching me and you're the kind of a man that beats on your wife, you need to stop it because it's not acceptable. If you're being reported, we're going to pick you up, to be honest with you. If we have to pay a policeman and the army people bribe to get you and beat you just like you beat our sister, that's exactly what we're going to do. Exactly. That's what we shall be doing. Sisters through Love Group International members are very special. We teach them to run their mouth just like running it. Don't overrun your mouth. Learn to communicate with your husband. Learn to communicate with your spouse, your brothers and sisters, your boyfriend. Learn to do more communication than argument and fighting. We are doing workshop every time to train our sisters. We also want our men to join us in the Zoom. To see that what we are doing is very effective. We need to stop being bad to each other. Life is too short. We are one. If you cannot beat your mother, please don't lay your hand on my sisters. May the Lord help us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our worship today was awesome. Let's enjoy this music a little bit and we'll close.
Thank you all for joining us. God bless you. Please share, share, share. Group. We are going to be known. They will look for us. I believe in that. Seriously. The Lord has blessed Sister Sula Group International. Group International. God will bless us. Sister Julie, you're welcome. Our God is good. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, 
The best of the best, nothing less. The best of the best. Oh, share, Baba, Jesus. Yes. Magazine, magazine. Yes, love. I feel like dancing. Magazine, magazine. Thank you, Sister Juliana. God bless you, sis. Hallelujah. That was an awesome one, my beloved sisters, friends, and well wishers all over the globe. We we'll thank God for this day. We have come to the end of this broadcast. We just wanted to inspire somebody and we wanted to mentor and empower somebody, men or women alike, that you can do all things through Christ. And not to miss out to the blessings that God has been giving to Sisters Through Love Group International. We thank God for those that participated today during the Data Free Day, and we bless God for that in Jesus' name. When next we do that, we want more people to participate because we want to touch lives, not just at the street, but also within us. The phone was loaded. God bless each and every one of you, both men and women. Please make sure you share. Like I said, go to our YouTube, sisters. Go and subscribe. We are taking record and watch those videos. You can watch them over and over again. Over 100 videos, that's a lot of videos to watch. Take your time to be going there to subscribe and share the place and then comment, encourage somebody. And continue to network. December is a December to remember by the special grace of God. This is in Bamont we have entered. It's all about blessings of God all the way. As our chapters are opening and loading, remember the Lord said 50 chapters by the end of the year. We are almost starting as of now. So we have 20 chapters to go. May the Lord continue to network us at the right countries and the right states and the right schools and sisters along the globe as we do the work of our Father. And may God also do the work in our families, in our husbands, our children, the work of our hands, and everything that has to do with us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for our social media handles all over the globe. May the Lord continue to bless them as they share and watch us and comment all the time. We appreciate every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, my sisters, like I said, the gift package for Christmas, especially for those who are going to our YouTube and our pages to comment, is going to blow your mind. And the raffle to tell your husbands, your friends and well wishers. It doesn't have to be only sisters through Love Group International. That they should enter for the raffle of Christmas. It's only 5,000 naira for you to register for that raffle. But some people will win some money that will shake their head. Some people will win some money they have never made from January to December. That is what God is saying. Because of 5,000 naira raffle, you will hit some price of money. Just begin to pray that you will be among the 10 people that are going to win. Because it will blow your mind what God is about to do. We are not just working for the less privileged. The Lord is busy working for us. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for really setting up a table before us in the presence of our enemies globally. We take authority and we stay on the coverage of Almighty God that whatsoever we are doing to the list of these people, we did unto Christ. 
let heaven always fight our battle. Our side angels, they will continue to fight our spiritual, physical, and emotional battle in this land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this gathering. We give you all the praise. We reverence your holy name. Father, continue to have your way concerning this platform and our friends and well wishers globally. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Somebody type hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Let's begin to tap that word hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to claim it hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Because when we say amen, we are in agreement. Let's begin to say amen in agreement in the mighty name of Jesus. Faithful is the name of the Lord. Adonai forever. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Those of us that are members of Sisters True Love Group International, see you all in the morning on our prayer line. Please tell your friends and well wishers to join the prayer line. Mighty things are happening. May the Lord bring us alive and healthy as we will be joining each other very soon on the Zoom prayer line in Jesus' mighty name. Bye, everyone. Stay safe and stay focused. And don't ever run away from the umbrella of God. Love you all. Love you all. Love you all. Mm. Bye, everyone. Talk to you later in the morning. In Jesus' name.